Yep. So this is Five Minutes with Sean Chambers, the Executive Creative Director at Razorfish London. There you go. Hi Sean. Hello. Please can you give us a summary of your career to date? Uh, under, uh, underwhelming. <laughs> uh, I've been, um, where I started, um, <coughs> I kind of started off in dot .com, the ebook is dot .com. Okay. Then I went to uh, Euro RSCG, I said for five years. Then I went to Poke in London. Then I went to uh, Amsterdam and set up my own agency. Then I went to... What was that agency called? It was called Kong. Okay. Still going. Uh, then I went to DDB, Tribal DDB Amsterdam. Then oh. I was uh, Blast Radius in uh, Amsterdam. And now I'm at Race Fish. Okay. Um, describe the creative industry in three words. The creative industry? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a creative answer, I guess. Yeah. Um, who inspires you? Oh, I should have looked at these questions beforehand. No, that's the point. How is it? <laughs> it inspires me. Uh, I like reading. Um, I d not not really stuff in the industry, I suppose. It, that's not what I, I. I look more. I like reading Wired, and 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 that's because uh, I'm really interested in new business innovation type stuff, which I think is very interesting. And then. Um, yeah, I like I like things like um, the Khan Academy. Do you ever see that? Okay, what's that about? It's a it's like a the, it's a it's a site where there's lots of videos, educational videos about lots of different subjects, a bit like iTunes U or something like that, or Academic Earth. You've seen those, but they're really interesting, and I'm very interested in people that are doing things for uh, new ways of using the internet for education. And are there any individuals in particular in maybe other industries or sectors that, that you kind of look up to? You know that guy, um, uh, what's his name, so Ken Robinson. Okay. Also. Do you know that? Uh, that he did a, a TED talk that's very interesting. Uh, I don't know. I don't think about it enough to, to have a good answer. Um, I suppose you, no. Okay, fine. <laughs> it's hard to think of something without sounding without going like Steve Jobs or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you look for in good creatives? Um, yeah, uh, hard work, hard workers. I think that's really important to people and a passion for it, um, and uh, and people who are good at um, good at taking direction and and taking an idea, you know, the ability to drop ideas and kind of get on top of another one and just go with it. Because um, the worst thing when you're up against deadlines is having to fight creatives to drop an idea that you know isn't going to work. And also, it helps if they're good at coming up with ideas. Who's the most creative person you've ever worked with? Oh. Um, that's hard to answer. I've worked with... Um, I work with lots of really good creatives, and not all of them. And I've also worked with lots of good people who, who, who aren't necessarily creatives, but in the creative department. Because I think that's one of the things that we always do a bit wrong is have that creative department. Or like creative strategists or creative producers. Or yeah, or, or it could be anyone. But um, uh, it's a bit difficult again because they're friends, so it sounds a bit. Uh, um, there's a guy called Andrew Ferguson that I work with for you. He, he's at Blast Radius also, and he was at AKQA for a long time. Like that. He's a great person to work with. Um, and um, I don't know, because you, again, you feel a bit bad if you leave people. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> um, what's the best brand you've ever worked on? Actually, yeah, I'm working on it at the moment. It's Axe. Uh, and it's because, um, not just it's a good or Lynx or Axe, whatever you want to call it. Um, not just because it's a good brand and they've got a good history, but also because the, uh, the clients are extremely smart and also they're constantly pushing for good work. You're not fighting them to do good work. They're constantly pushing you to do, let's do something bigger, let's do something better, yeah. which, uh, which is very refreshing because it's not always the case, unfortunately. What's the biggest risk you've ever taken in your career? This could be it. <laughs> <laughs> just realised that. I yeah. Uh, 
I'm going and starting. I moved to Amsterdam to start my own agency. Didn't know anyone there, uh, apart from the one guy I was setting it up with. He said, "Got some funding. Do you want?" I, I'd worked with him at Poke for three months, and we and we uh, seemed to work well together. And then he said, "I'm going to go back to uh, Holland. Do you want to do you want to come and start an agency?" And I said, "Yeah." And a year later, I'd left. What's your favourite? What's what is your favourite advertising campaign of all time? I don't like advertising much, to be absolutely honest with you. Okay. Um, uh, do you know what? What age? Really, uh, ages ago, I went for an interview at Agency Republic, and they said, "What ads do you like? What that are out there?" And I and I was like, "I don't like advertising much, to be absolutely fair. <laughs> I really don't." And they didn't really talk to me much after that. And it's, <laughs> yeah. it's still the case. I'm not, I. Uh, I'm more of a fan of the reason I'm in the industry is because I think there's so many so the interesting things you can do with the internet. So what would I really like? I really like uh, the Fiat Eco Drive okay. stuff, and also uh, I think that was really interesting that AK carried it. Very different and a good use of you know of, of the new possibilities we have to do something a bit different and have a good outcome on the environment. Okay, let's move on to a quick fire round. It was a, that was not quick fire. No, that was a quick fire. Um, FWA or NMA? Oh, FWA, yeah. Can Lion or DNA D pencil? They're both a bit the same. <laughs> Digital design or graphic design? Digital, yeah. Creatives or suits? Creatives, I suppose you've got it. London or Amsterdam? I'd live in Amsterdam over London. Okay. Apple or Android? Yeah, see, so I'd say Android, but the thing is, I used a few Android phones, and they're really. I don't like. I don't like. I use Blackberries. Okay. Degree or no degree? I mean, no degree, and it doesn't make any difference to me if people have got degrees or not. Web or mobile? Still web. I I browse mobile a lot, but it's it's still a bit frustrating. Independent agencies or networked agencies? This, I'm going to have to say networked. <laughs> <laughs> Outsource production or on-site production? We're, you wouldn't believe what a massive discussion that is. It's, it's always a big discussion, but uh, I, uh, there's, I think uh, my personal feeling is a mix of both, because they both have advantages and disadvantages, using, the right, using them when, when it's right. Miami Ad School or Hyper Island? Hyper, yeah. Watford or Bucks? We've got a lot of people from Bucks here, so I'll go with Bucks. And lastly, Don Draper or Roger Sterling? I don't watch TV, actually. <laughs> I do know what that is because my girlfriend watches it, but I don't, but I don't know who, which one's. Fine, thank, thank you very much.